for now we're just going to talk about one or two things that have gone on suddenly in the news just lately. Um, there's been two places filled in the Champion of Champions in the last week. Uh, Albert at Mayo Bryce, Anthony Aldridge from Woodfield won the, uh, the Mayo Bryce Open and today at West Bromwich um, Gary Ellis has carried off the 850 top prize in the West Brom Supporters Club. So later on the programme we'll see if we can get a quick word with Gary. But for now, I'm delighted to say we've got on the line, uh, hopefully, Anthony Aldridge. Are you there, Anthony? Hi, Mel. How are you doing? Yeah, not so bad yourself. Good. Yeah, fine. Uh, welcome to Talking Bowls. Um, Thank you. First of all, congratulations on your success. Um, when I went to qualify, someone told me how well you played in your qualifying days, games. Um, did you go into the final full of confidence? Um, to be honest, no. No. Um, <laughs> I played really well in the qualifying games, um, the three games I, I thought I played really well, but actually on the day, I, I, I didn't feel comfortable all day. Um, on the final day? No, on the final day, I didn't feel comfortable all day, apart from when we had the uh, the snowstorm in, in the final. Alright, so the snow saved you, did it? I think so, yeah. It, it was quite weird because it was the Oakland's Open on the Saturday night um, and, and I had uh, two games. Uh, lost in the court final against Paul Bailey. First game against Mickey Ledges and uh, played really well in the two games, so I, was, I felt real comfortable um, going into Melbourne on finals day. But, you, you know, I just went on and uh, it, I, I, I just went on with the attitude that, well, I'll just take each game as it comes. And now, you, 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 your club mates from Woodfield tell me you can't remember what you did yesterday, so. Is there, any <laughs> is there any chance you can re run through the day how it went for you, you played? Well, yeah, like I said, I mean, I, it, it was a weird one, really, because I, I lost in the semis last year, and, and I went on, you know, there was, it was a good field, and um, I went on with the attitude, I'm just going to take each game as it comes. Um, played Andrew, Andrew Hughes' first game, lost in the final in 2000, and, it, you know, it was quite a tidy game. Uh, just, just got through that 15. Uh, played Dan Bracken, second game. Uh, got off to a flyer against me, 6 0 up, I think he went. Um, and I just found, I, I think what I've done it, I've just found crucial balls at the right time. Um, didn't, know much, didn't know much about the third game, played uh, with Dave Jones from Eastern. Yeah, uh, no, Dave Jones, yeah. Yeah, t t tough game, I had to play some good shots. Same again, really, didn't play brilliant, but uh, steady, and I found some crucial shots at the right time. Um, just managed to scrap through that, I think it was 15 or 16. Um, then Pete Davenport from Warwick and Worcester in, in the semis. And I, I think Pete would agree, it was a, it was a real battle that game was for both of us really. Um, and I, I think the scoreline suggested it was 20, I think it was about 19, but you know, it was a tough game really that was. Was that, that you say, the hardest game with Peter Davenport? Yeah, I think that, I think that was... Because I don't think Pete was at his best and, and I wasn't at my best. It was, it, it was a pure battle. You know, Pete went a few in front at the start and um, I just managed to just hang on in there and, you know, it was just a battle all the way through, really. Now, in the final against um, Terry Cutting, who you know, travelled a long way to play bowls these days from Northampton, um, I, I gather that the, you had one hell of a blizzard and at a crucial time, I think you scored three twos with the, with the jack in your hand, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we started off, um, you know, it was a poor start myself. The uh, first couple of ends, I, I, I think get one within two yards of the jack. Um, I went 4-0 down. Um, then I managed to get in. Um, Terry got me on the corner. I think he got back from Farmer. He got, Farmer got in trial three, and he, he found a, a mark in the corner, got back into it. And uh, tried to the same mark with myself. I managed to get in early. And, um, you know, went to five across, and all of a sudden, Huge black cloud up above, and there the snow blizzard started, and and that's when I felt most comfortable on the day, really. <laughs> I, I gather the referee did give you the opportunity of coming off, didn't he? Yeah, but yeah, the two refs come, come on um, and, and you know give us a choice. Do you want us to try and clear the snow for green, or you know what do you want to do? And both me and Terry looked at one another, and we just said, well, look, you know, you know yourself when you've been in finals, you just want to just carry on and. Just, just get the job done, really. Yeah. And there was obviously, at that point, been, you wouldn't know whether the snow was going to clear or uh, or whether well, you'd be able to finish the game? It was it was quite crazy because within two or three minutes, the, 
you know, the green was just wiped over. Uh, five minutes later, it had all disappeared and it was back to the green. So the, the weightage and the yardage was unbelievable game. You know, without the jack in your hand as well, you got bowled like two or three yards away and it, it was real difficult to play. So obviously, it is the biggest win of your career, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, it, 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 it was, you know, it, it didn't sink in for a couple of days, to be honest. And like I said, I went on the green Sunday. Um, I've always gone on these big, big competitions and lack of belief, lack of confidence. Um, and I just went on taking each game as it come, really. Yeah. Now then, you, you got a place in the Champion of Champions at Blackpool. Uh, your first appearance in that event, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. So I'll, I'll be, uh, I've, I've already entered the, uh, the, the Waterloo couple, the main one and the uh, spring one, just to get a bit of practice in. Yeah. So. Have you played the green much? Uh, no, funny enough, I've only, I've, I've entered the spring Waterloo for the last two years and uh, I've, I've only had two games on it. Um, I've, I've played Duncan and Reeves for the first game um, and I've played um, uh, Dean Ferris last year and he just picked me 20. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you're doing the right thing in game practice on there because obviously there's going to be a lot of people who have got a lot of experience on that particular green. So, you know, uh, as far as that's concerned, yeah, get on with it and get practicing. Now, has this su success in winning a big tournament like this, has it give you any uh, ideas of perhaps entering a few more competitions, perhaps some of the big northern ones? Well, I think it has, to be honest, Mel. I mean, you know, over the years, I, on average, I only uh, enter six, seven opens a year. And, you know, like I said, you know, over the years I've got to 16, 17 semi-finals and I've always felt like a, you know, a nearly man. Um, you know, I was fortunate, fortunate to win a, an Open, a small Open, a, a few years back and um, I lost in the semi-final in Melbourne last year and, you know, I've just been nearly there but I'm maybe all down to experience and, and self-belief really. Yeah. And obviously playing at a good club like Woodfield at, at the highest level you can is, can, can only be good for your game, can't it? Oh, most definitely. And I think my, my, my problem with competition bowling over the years is, I've, you know, on final days I've rev, my, rev myself up for the first two or three games and, you know, really go for it and play played really well. And then I've, I've actually got worse as <laughs> the tournament goes on where a lot of players lift the game. And, and I think it's just going in with the right attitude of just just playing your normal game, really. Yeah, that, that's quite correct. Um, I gather you had a, a magnum of champagne for winning this as well, and I, I suppose you've shared that with all your teammates, have you? Um, unfortunately, I couldn't open it at the time because uh, all, all the ice and snow, my hands were a bit slippery, <laughs> so I, I had to take the bottle home with me. Okay. It's not opened yet. Okay. Anyway, well done on that, Ant. It's a, you, you're a marvellous achievement for yourself and your club and, and for Staffordshire from the county point of view.